you know if you've ever hunted deer over bait you know one of the best ways to to get them really coming in there where you can get a shot at them in the daylight is just to pour corn straight out on the ground uh, the downside to that is, you know, it, your corn's exposed to the elements then, and a lot of times your deer are going to eat that up in a night or two, and it may be before you're ready to hunt it. Um, you can go with a, with a, with a big time feeder, and, and those certainly have their place, uh, but the downside to them is, you know, it's harder to get those into those remote areas, and they also, you know, they make a lot of noise, they make a lot of disturbance, it takes the deer a while to get accustomed to it. So, what I like to do uh, whenever I'm trying to bait deer in an area where, I, where I'm really trying to get a shot at them, is build these gravity feeders and you know these are these are made out of PVC pipe you can build them for about 50 bucks and they're, they're really easy to make all you need is a uh, six inch uh, you know six inch diameter PVC tube and just a slip over lid to go on the top of that and one of these six inch Y's and that's W Y E Y and uh, it's they're, they're really simple to make you just need a little can of this purple PVC primer and some cement and all you've got to do is just uh, you know if you've never worked with PVC pipe before you're not a plumber by trade like me uh, you just prime the bottoms of your of your pipe uh, with the purple primer kind of let it dry a little bit put your cement on there do the same thing to the end, end of your Y and then you just uh, set them down together and then uh, you know your cap just slides down over the top of it just like that and you'll notice that I've got some eye bolts in here and I put these in before I came out here to camp where I had you know my drill and my power right there handy you got these two eye bolts on the side and those to run a rope or a ratchet strap through there that way you can secure that feeder to a tree you've also got one on the top where you can uh, take your corn you know or uh, take your lid off and, and fill it up with corn and then you'll notice I've got a little hole drilled in the side of this and that's simply so I can line that up and I've got a fourth eye bolt to put in that little hole and the reason you do that is to keep the raccoons from pulling the lid off of it. Now, you know, once you cement that in, you let it dry, let it dry in the sun for a half hour or so. And I like to, uh, you know, put some spray paint on it, camo it up a little bit. And then when you actually go to set it in the woods, you set it up on a block, just like that. And that keeps the corn from running out the bottom of it. Now, you know, the deer will have no trouble at all sticking their nose right down in that Y. They'll eat the corn straight out of it. And uh, once they find it, they'll, they'll, you know, you'll, you'll, your 50 pounds of corn or whatever it'll hold, it's going to be drained out in about a week. But it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit longer than pouring it straight on the ground. It's certainly less intrusive than, you know, than carrying a big time feeder in there. So if it's legal in your area to hunt deer over bait, if you're a guy that, that likes to hunt over bait, this is uh, one really good plan for a gravity feeder that, uh, that works really well for me. And if you try it, I bet it works for you too.